All right, let's pray real quick, y'all. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord, and I thank you for speaking to my heart and to my dad's heart and through us, Father, to one another. Holy Spirit, I thank you for shining through us, Father, and I ask that you guide us, that you speak through my heart, that you speak to whoever watches this, Father, and I ask that you guide us and bless us that thy will be done. Holy Spirit, focus our hearts on you, Father, that thy will be done. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I pray, Christ in heaven, Father, amen. Okay, everybody, so I wanted to come real quick um, because the Lord just put something on my heart. Me and my daddy were inside talking, and I went and used the bathroom, and while I was sitting there, I was just thinking, and the Lord just spoke to me. There are quite a few of us who the Lord has been speaking to since we were born. It is quite a few of us, um, whether you're saved or not, there are, a few, there are more than a few of us who the Lord has spoken to since the time he placed us in this earth. And whether you've made the full-blown uh, chance or, or, or the full-blown actual public statement to accept him into your heart and into your life, we got to acknowledge that, that he has been speaking to us since we were children. And that, that's really what I wanted to make this video for because there is more than one person I met in my life who, who ain't even, a lot of Mark Christians, but there's been a spiritual uh, uh, connectivity that they've had to the spiritual realm since they were children. And I myself have had personal experiences from the time I was a child with the Lord and with with demons and the devil. And, and this is my whole point. This is really what I, in, in the angels, this is really what I wanted to get at is regardless of whether you're saved or not there are select people that have been chosen by the lord to speak to, 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 to preach his gospel and to speak his word his truth there are select few of us that have been chosen directly to speak his word and and to go out and preach to those who are in the world who need to be there are specific ones of us that he has selected as the flock to go find the rest of the flock and we got to start acknowledging that in, that in this time, in this day and age, specifically with everything that, we did, that we're seeing in the media in the just the first week of 2020, prophecy is being fulfilled. And, and either whether you're a believer or not, we need to be ready to accept Christ now in this moment. If you're not a believer, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you the opportunity to just accept Christ into your heart and, and allow him to come in and do the work that he has placed you here to do. There's a lot of us, especially teenagers, who don't realize that the reason you don't fit in and the reason you can't find your place in school and in this world in general is because you're not meant to be accompanied by this world. You're not meant to be accustomed to this world. You're not meant to fit in. You are meant to stand out. You are meant to stand out tooth and nail. You are meant to stand out. You are meant to stand out as his child, as being filled with his Holy Spirit without even the consciousness. It's just the consciousness of the spirit influencing you as a good person without you even realizing that it's the Lord doing it. For those of you who have felt like that and you feel like you don't have a place and you, you can't find where you're supposed to fit in and you can't get in where you fit in, it's because the Lord has made you to stand out and you have to be prepared in this moment to accept him into your heart and do what it is that he needs you to do in these next few weeks and days and months and years because it's about to pop off. And then... And, and, He's spoken to us directly from childhood so that our actions and our words and our heart has been conditioned time and time again through our upbringing to stay faithful to him without us even realizing it. Without us actually being consciously his children, we have been his children from the start and we really need to go out and find the lost sheep and go out and, and, and help assist him in finding the lost. And, and my pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Miles McPherson, The Rock Church, San Diego, uh, said he did this one sermon that was absolutely brilliant and he said that there was a father who sent his son to go find his brother and his brother was autistic and and so as a parent can you imagine having an autistic child that you can't find somebody who doesn't know what's going where they need to be and how to get back home that's how a lot of these lost people are. That's how everybody who's lost is. They don't know where they're supposed to go. They don't know where home is. And it's our job. It's our job as those of us who know, whether we really want to admit we know or not, or admit that the Lord has been telling us since we were a child where we belong. We, it's our job that we go out and find these people who can't find their way home on their own. The Lord has made us to go out and do his work and we need to be prepared and we need to start preparing our hearts to do that. And, and, the the best the best way the, the best thing that I can say for everybody is to, to 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 do is is number one accept Christ into your heart number two accept your place in His kingdom accept your place in His kingdom stop saying that I've I've done this and I've done this and I deserve to pay for this and I deserve to pay for that Christ paid for that does specifically paid for your sin stand up rise up in Christ and realize that God has a plan for you and that plan needs to be enacted now 
Not next year, not next month, not next week, now. So real quick, I'm, 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 I'm going to do a, a prayer, and I, and I just ask that you repeat after me, that you accept Christ into your heart, and that, that you feel the Holy Spirit, that you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you. So here we go. Lord, Father, Father, I thank you. I thank you for this day, and I thank you for speaking through me, and I thank you for guiding me. I thank you for being my strength, and I thank you for being my healing, Lord. Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart, Father, and I ask that you be the Lord and the Savior over my life. Father, please forgive me of my sin. Please cleanse me of my sin. Please make in me a new and clean heart, one that honors and desires you, Father. I ask that you guide me, that you guide my footsteps, my thoughts, my words, my actions, that everything I do exalt you, that everything I do exalt your kingdom, Father. I ask that you use me in these last days, Father, to honor and exalt your kingdom at all costs. I ask that you guide my heart, that you lead me in the way that I should go, that I honor you, and that I honor the plan that you have set forth in my life for your kingdom, Father. I pray that you be our strength. I pray that you be our healing, and I pray that you remove all fear from us and you bless us with hearts that trust in you fully and solely, Father. I ask that you guide us as your children to continue to preach your word, to get in the fight, that those of us who have not yet gotten into the fight, that in this moment we get into the fight, that we get into the fight and we be filled with your Holy Spirit, that we go out and we combat evil in the way that you have ordained us to do and blessed us to do. Bless us, Father, as your children, that we go out and we find our brothers and sisters. Lord, I pray that you guide us as your children, that we remain strong in you. Fill our hearts, Holy Spirit. Please create in us new hearts new minds, renewed minds, renewed hearts, renewed spirits, Father, that in all renewed bodies, that we be healed, that we be filled with your Holy Spirit, that through any any pain, any 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 illness, any sickness, any any anything that's negative, that through that, Father, we be able to grow in your Holy Spirit, that we be able to grow in our relationship with you and in our faith, Father. Guide us to honor you, the true and living God. Father, I ask that you and I pray in Jesus Christ's holy name. You focus our hearts on you. You focus our hearts on your truth. That you speak to whoever watches this, Father, that they be empowered. That the, the Holy Spirit, you ignite a fire in their heart to go out and do your work and your will, Father. That we honor you and all that we do, Father. Guide us, Father. Guide us to honor you, Lord, and to please you. Guide us that we please you in all we do, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, guide us that we honor and that we please you, Father. Holy Spirit, overcome us. Fill our hearts. Lead us in the way we should go. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you and I pray, Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Love y'all. Stay prayed up. Stay in the word. Check out Revelations 2, 16 and 17. It sums everything up right there. Sums everything up right there. Stay prayed up. If, if anybody needs encouragement or, or anything like that, just comment below. Um, just, just remember y'all to stay faithful. To trust in the Lord and know that his will will be done regardless. His will will be done regardless. All he needs is our obedience. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.